way. We're gonna have some fun on this Nail the Mix. All right, so we just made it to the studio. Let's go check this place out. Uh, Which way, like, yeah. around the couch and over, or like this way? We can either do long ways or start it from over there. So we are here at Sphere in LA, and it is setup day. Yeah. yeah! So enough of us being awkward. Here's a cheesy montage and a cheesy transition. Figure out how to do this. This is my first time setting up for a little mix, so I'm a little nervous. All right, so we're setting up for an interview. It's gonna be fancy, it's gonna be cute. We've got. Uh, You're gonna have to forgive me because I'm so used to moody studio life. Yeah, no worries. It's that I'm gonna feel interrogated and, and I'm gonna take it real personal. It's a whole well, on the are back you doing of that. What's up, man? There, but, yeah, you know. Yeah, Hang out. Get up, man. Thank you very much. Mix, y'all is. I was kind of intimidated because because Crummit did all his stuff before that, and I really like Crummit's mixes, but I feel like what I bring to the table, like production-wise was like more what he was going for. And so I remember like, I remember being like, oh, I better fucking step it up. And I actually, to this day, don't love this mix, but I love what it did for the song. And like, that's something I'll probably talk about is like the song doesn't make, like the best mix can be boring as fuck. It's like how, how it like makes the song feel. It's like you have to tell the story of the song. Shout out to Crummit. Yep. You feeling me? No. I'm filming you. Just it's like Inception. How does that feel? How does that feel, social media guy? It's inter these speakers are interesting. Uh, suck. Oh yes. You have all the best knobs. Uh, the 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 lower the volume, it like gets kind of trebly. Yeah. That's what I was. Uh, that's why. I was. It's like a sweet spot of loud and full. I mix on ATCs, so anything that's kind of like similar to that. Call my computer. Jeez, crazy. <laughs> I want to go back to an 002. Don't make me go back to an 002. Please. All right, so we are just about set up for Eric's interview. How you feeling? Feeling good. How you feeling? I'm a little shaky. Just like, just... Is there like an a a way to fix that? A little. Just whiskey. Yeah, it's <laughs> on the way, baby. It's Ooh. on the way. We're going to have some fucking fun on this Nail the Mix. That's not entirely accurate at all. Let me just awkwardly get in the wrong I just... <laughs> there you go, Nick. Just. <laughs> but like, a shoe might have grazed a pant. Which... That's not how I remember it. It's, you know, this is how this whole thing starts. Nick's just gonna win over every Nail the Mixer. <laughs> oh, am I not the first Nail the Mixer to hit on you? Oh. No, it happens all the time. Damn it! And I like to uh, bake... Um, puppy. Was that, was that too personal? Uh, bake, um, puppy, puppy. Everyone wants it right now, the biggest thing right now, but I think there's a lot you can learn. And if you're not ready yet, you're gonna be put into a situation that you fuck up. So we just wrapped up the interview with Eric. Like, well, Turned out pretty good. So stay tuned, it's going up on Kerrang. If you want to see previous interviews we've done, like this one with Kurt, or this one with the Machine. So go check those out on these links over here, or somewhere, but yeah. I'm gonna awkwardly stare at you now as a transition. I know you mentioned on the interview that you answered this, but uh, Jeremy Justice asks, do you have any studio animals? And if so, who I are they? I do, I have a pug, his name is Madden. And there's actually another one, my engineer Anthony's dog is Wally. He's a Pomeranian uh, uh, Corgi mix. So uh. we have two cute ass animals there. Places where, yeah, you might wanna be like, uh, I would have probably done this and this and that. So yeah, it's kind of like a critique. Okay. I didn't know Post Malone was amazing. The third one will be perfect. <laughs> okay.
showcase why you play samples by hand and and just do a few just to show like yeah. they're accurate, you know. So Eric's gonna yell at me if I film his settings, so. Why don't you fucking film my settings? Okay? The whole, the whole vlog will look like Nothing. this. Just, just, just blurry. blurry. Welcome to Mixed Labs. My name's Derek Ron. My name's Ron Eric. Cool. Let's fucking rip it. All right, so I'm gonna let these guys do their thing in their other room. Peace but out, Melanie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the sass with this one. Anyways, this is what the Mix Lab's gonna look like. Hey guys, welcome to Mix Labs. My name is Eric Ron. Take it easy. It was like three months went by and they're and I'm just like, hey, I want to be a runner. And they're like, hey, we get people for free. It was just like brass tacks. It was like, and there were like five runners already. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I know I wanted that. Like, Cause it was like my dream studio. Cause like Incubus is my favorite band of all time. And like Corn and Biscuit and like yeah. you name it. You know, I'm a new metal kid. And, uh, and it was like my dream place to work. And it was like the first internship I applied for and I got it and I got hired. I'm like, this is it. This is only up from here, baby. Like you don't know. And they're just like, get the fucking, I cleaned a mic locker once. That was the closest I got to the control room. Yeah. Just wrapped up the day with Eric and tomorrow's stream day. So we'll catch you at stream day. I hope there's lighting here. Dream day. All right, so before we get to the studio, you stoked about anything on the stream? <sighs> Spheres coffee. Mm -hmm. Here's a montage of Spheres coffee. So yes, coffee, see you at the studio. So it is stream day and we're gonna have a lot of fun. So cue that montage. Uh, it's my first day, uh, I just use presets and let's have some fun. Hey, Mr. Ron, how are you? Don't fucking look at me. Don't talk to me. Yes, sir. Go back to your chair. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we've got the vibe bar here set up. The vibe bar. I'll be good to go. Off to AL here in five, four, three, two. So welcome to December 2018, Now the Mix, with none other than Mr. Eric Ron. Welcome, Eric. Thank you for being here. Hey. So Eric just finished the fastest Nail the Mix I've ever witnessed in person. Uh, I do feel like I'm grabbing Eric's melons. <laughs> After we finished up that nail the mix, Eric's doing a mix rescue. Let's look at him get. Look at look at some of your stuff because I feel like there's a lot of redundancies here, so I just want to check it out and see what's going on under the hood. It's gonna look fire. Twas a success. Twas a Twas a successful second day. Yeah. Here at LA. With Eric Ron, I'm like I'm used to him. Yesterday was yeah. overwhelming. Today I'm just used to it. Yeah. Today I felt just a lot more comfortable with it overall, in general. But yeah, you get used to it. But like now I'm gonna go to the, our studio and I'll be like, why is it so dark in here? Thus ends a great stream day. I'll see you next time or tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. It's getting too real <laughs> what do here. You want? It's getting too real.
super stoked for this Nail in the Mix just because my band's actually played with Slaves a couple times, and Eric's done a bit of things that I actually liked in the past, like his stuff with I the Mighty, that first record. Love it. All right, we'll see you at the studio. Welcome to Sphere. Great day. What's shaking? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm having to make me a triple latte. Like, I'm going for it today. We're, We're getting messy. Hey! Day two, nail the mix. Day yeah. three here. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bounds or I guess flex more as a producer or something. Oh, fle flexing is fun. Yes. Eric is breezing through this nail to mix. Breezy. Super fast. Well, hopefully I'm I'm being detailed still. It's just I just don't think recording is rocket science. Hopefully people are seeing my brain on on two different styles mm -hmm. and seeing how they kind of how the same attention to detail and the same like work um, flow is with like a different sort of emotional Absolutely. take on it. I think so. I mean, also on this one, by the way, uh, one of the things that people seem to really be digging wow. is the blending of the different genres. Cool. And that kind of blows people's minds. Awesome. It's yeah. tough because these samples are so hot and it makes you feel like, um, for me, it's almost subtracting the, the programming element and not trying to force the rock because a rock kick will never sound like that. No. It's just not meant to be. And so um, I even went through phases where I added like a techno kick underneath the rock kicks, mm -hmm. like the Cherko style, because Cherko's kicks are like a fucking EDM kick. Yeah. And there's no rock kick like that. You know, even the snare, I'm pretty sure those are just like vengeance samples, you know? And so it's like, I tried that for a little bit and it didn't work for me. So I decided to see how... Um, it's just felt too clubby, club thumpy, mm -hmm. you know, it didn't, it didn't feel organic to me. So, um, so I did it this way where it's more like subtracting all of the crazy shit out of the electronic elements. Yeah. So I'm going to bring up this one because I think it sounds better in the mixture. It was a fun couple days here at Sphere with... Eric Ron, but we will see you tomorrow. We are tearing down and then we're gonna go to his place to finish up our unfinished business. This is our unfinished business because I'm gonna say it wrong, so I'm just gonna rely on post editing to remind me what the real things are. Bye, Spear. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Daniel was awesome. Vibes were awesome. While he's not looking, I'm gonna hump the corner of this 4K. You know, we just mixed a number one song here, right? Does that get me any clout? All right, I'll leave you alone. It's getting too real <laughs> what here. Do you want? It's getting too real. So we are wrapping it up here at Sphere and there is still daylight. Thank you so much. I appreciate you greatly. Great. Right as always, man. Appreciate it, man. Thus wraps up a great day. See you guys tomorrow. None of us cried, not one time. All right, so it's day four, Fast Shack Day and Mix Lab Day with Eric Braun. Woo! Pretty stoked because we get to see Eric's pug. Woo! All right, so we made it to the studio. So let's do that studio tour. Eric just got here. 
His doggo dead toe. Oh, uh, hello, doggo. It's the only mission we need to do with the whatever session I was Yeah, doing. we're just testing on you. Testing it. But Stay basically, what I want. Be like being a good as assistant or being a good like that's to me how you make the job your own in a way like that's what you mm -hmm. set yourself apart. My my mom always told me no matter what job I do to be unforgettable, and that was something that like stuck with me because even when I was like 15, working my very first job in a restaurant, I was washing dishes. I still like had to be the best possible employee I could there like and make a, the biggest difference. I don't know how, I've just always kind of been that, been that way. Eric, it's a little different for me. He's my, he's one of my best friends in the world and he's been one of my closest friends for six, seven years now. So like, oh, for, so for so a you guys long, just get each I, yeah, like not a, beyond just like working together and spending more time with him than anybody. Like we also just know each other super well. So like mm -hmm. I know all the little details about his life and I make a habit of remembering them because if you can remember the little little tiny details a people trust you to remember the big stuff a lot more yeah. but b it's the thing that tends to set you apart from a crowd is the littlest details that you remember like if you can remember the exact brand of creamer they like or or like someone's chipotle order down to the t yeah. without needing to be asked like it seems kind of trivial but those are the things that help you that help a, you impress people that way, and B, it helps like people be like, oh shit, like this dude really knows his shit. All right, so we're finishing up the last mix lab. I'm gonna go to the restroom while these guys do this. Make it nice and big. So this is what you've noticed. So. All right, guys, it was a fun week. Yeah. Absolutely was. Hopefully we have some more some more smasholas and we'll have to do it again. All right, so we're wrapping it up here we with Eric Law. We did it. All done. We finished up the nail the mix. None of us cried, not one time. I was getting emotional. What Pains me do? to see you go. We'll see you on the next nail the mix. If not Nam, if not Florida, it'll be fun. See you next time. <laughs>